It's gratitude journaling time. 52 prompts and a year of gratitude. And I am on number 18. Draw something green that you are grateful for. I saw these trees and this grass and I just knew it was the right thing to do. I love how many different colors of green there are. So in my picture that I am painting, I'm going to try to create many types of greens. I only have one green color and it's phthalo green, which has a bit of a blue tint to it. So I'll be mixing up a lot of my own greens with just different kinds of yellows and different types of blues and a little bit of brown and even a little bit of white and black to get what I want. I tend to be messy when I start painting like this. I think my mind sometimes feels so overcome by all the details. I have to just start throwing color on with very basic elementary type shapes just to get going at all. The colors and the shapes often look pretty bad before they start looking good. <laughs> but if I focus on the details too soon, I often get a little overwhelmed and I don't know where to start. So my plan of attack often is to just start. Put ugly brush strokes on the canvas and let it happen. However, it naturally comes out and then adjust the painting until I feel satisfied. I feel like there might be a life lesson in there somewhere, though I would probably need to think about a little bit more to decide exactly what that lesson is. I chose to paint these trees and this grass because it is beautiful. Looking out into nature sometimes pleases me so much. I sometimes feel awe at how many colors and how much detail the world was created to have. I felt the same way when I saw these trees with the rich and vibrant greens. Though my painting will be fun and beautiful in its own way, I think most often cameras and paintings can't always capture or do justice to what you can see and feel with your own eyes. The beauty of the world is just so breathtaking. The color green often represents spring, nature, new life, health, wellness, and has a general calming effect on our minds. There is green everywhere I look right now. The world is vibrant with greens of all different shades. Sometimes I wonder why the color green is such a dominant color in our world. Perhaps because it's calming? So is blue. I know there are scientific reasons for the colors we see, but let's say someone was designing a world and this someone was thinking about what the best colors to surround a person would be. I think greens and blues and golds and browns were wise options. A lot of things in nature are calming colors, unless it is a happy, vibrant color. This is my favorite part of the process. I love to put in the shadows and begin to see my painting coming more to life. Getting these trees to look like they're forward more than the ones in the back was something that I needed to focus on. By putting this shadow and the ground and just trying to make sure that they're a lot darker in some places, but lighter in others, and just making it look more, just a little bit more detailed and close, which I do get a little bit more detail later on at the end. Yeah, we're getting there. Here I'm just adding some highlights in, and that really, really helps the trees just to stand out a little bit more. Um, I also end up adding a little tiny bit of ink just to define them slightly at the very end, and that makes a big difference. And here it is, looking all beautiful with lots of different colors of greens. It definitely worked out really well. I'm really happy with this one. The next prompt is, draw something you have that you're grateful for. Stay merry and creative. 